Man, shout out to bro Nick Cannon, man. I mean, at least he let the uh, the dragon out the bag, man. You know what I'm saying? What happens next, ain't nobody know. You know what I mean? But not not a lot of people would have had, you know, the courage to bring <laughs> the bro Griff on, man. Shout out to Professor Griff, man. Let's get a piece of this, man. Love to uh, Divine Prospect who reposted this on his platform, man. Go get the full joint. Let's go, man. All right, man. So, to my understanding, now, I want to I wanna thank Khaled L. I. King from the Black History 101 Mobile Museum. He has set up a talk with a rabbi. Right. This is recently. Right. So, and, and I'm in front of a room full of Jewish people. <laughs> right. And I'm asking basic questions, and maybe you can help me out. Right. <laughs> so, let's look up the word anti-Semitic. Right. Who are the Semitic people? And then we're going to get to the public enemy thing. Right. So I looked up who is the Semitic people. And there's a list of Semitic people. And anyone can do this right now. You can look up who are the Semitic people. What are the Semitic languages? Right. Has absolutely nothing to do with any white people. Right. Fact. Not at all. So in order for me to be anti-Semitic, I'd have to be anti-black man, anti-black woman, anti-black people, anti-Africa, anti-all of the people. Because the Semitic people... Are black people. Are black people. So, so y'all get that clarity. We're going to say that again. Now, the Semitic people are black people. So I cannot be anti-Semitic. Now, what do they really use the phrase anti-Semitic to do? That's the thing. To divide us. Exactly. Right. So they put this title on you, anti-Semitic, and then they neutralize you. Right. Separated me from the group. Right. Say he's a Jew hater, he hate white people, he hate gay people, he hate all white people with freckles and red hair, whatever. Right. And they put that on me, which I never said these things. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I just ran down the history given to me by my elders. And anybody could read this for themselves. Right. So it ain't a Professor Griff hating people thing. Right. Now, now closer to what happened with the public enemy thing, the brother by the name of James Baum, one of the X1Ws in right. the group. Right. Gave me some information because he was in touch with the research department of the Nation of Islam in Boston. Right. Got the information. And we talk about the secret relationship between blacks and Jews. Right. It was a manual. It mm. wasn't even a book then. Right. Wow. I got it. I went to Kinko's so I can get me a copy. <laughs> right. The brother recognized me. Oh, you that dude from Public Enemy, man. Right. For real. I said, yeah, bro, I, I got to get to this thing because I was the road manager, so I was responsible for everything. <laughs> right. I gave it to him. The brother gave me a copy, but he made himself a copy, copy also. Yeah. So hey. that's a violation, but yeah. cool, bro. Whoever he, he you are. He wanted some information. He wanted some information. He was hungry. He was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. When I seen the brother again, dude gave me a box of them. Mm. And I gave him, I gave James back his. So I read it. So now the spokespeople for the group, me and Chuck, we did all the interviews. Right. Mm -hmm. COINTELPRO. A actions and activations and they did the exact same thing to you why and this is just a question that I have and even coming from the aspect of mm -hmm. if the true children of Israel if right. we're speaking of mm -hmm. the Jewish community if we're speaking of the Abrahamic faiths right. that Islam comes from that Judaism comes from that Christianity comes from all comes from Abraham mm -hmm. and we are all speaking of brotherhood and unity why is this division? Why is it such a problem? Why is there so much fear, specifically in the black community, mm -hmm. in the Jewish community? Um, and, and, I, and I'm kind of, this is a leading question, which I want to get to. But why is it such a problem to speak the truth? I think it's a problem not, it became a problem for us because of the propaganda machine. But it's more of a problem for them. Right. Because... They've taken our birthright. Right. Mm. They don't want us to be them. Not deeper than that. They don't want us to be us. Mm. Mm. They don't want you wrapping your head. They don't want. Wow. Nah. They don't. They don't. They don't want. Now because you recognize. Right. And now they identified you. Oh man, Nick knows. Right. Who he is, and then now the flip side of that you know they are. Right. So let's dive into it. <laughs> the how. The, the fake dollar controls all of this, then maybe we can get to the reason why they wanted to silence you, why they want to silence mm -hmm. Minister Farrakhan, and they want to throw that. We are having hate speech when it's never hate speech, when it's not. Right. You can't be 
anti-Semitic when the Semitic when, when we, we are the Semitic people, when we are the same people that you who they want to be. Mm-hmm. That's our birthright. That's our birthright. So if that's truly our birthright, there's no hate involved. It's not. How did this message get so misconstrued? When we went, we came back to claim it. Right. When we woke up and we came back to claim If you steal my bicycle when we were six years old, mm. and you riding around the hood with my bike. <laughs> right. And now I'm 12 and I understand. I want my bike back. I want my bike back, man. Now you go. I want my granddaddy wallet. Kick up dust. <laughs> right, right, <back>. right. <laughs> you understand? I'm and I'm brolic enough to get exactly. my bike back. <laughs> I know some techniques now. I want my bike back. Right. I'm coming to get my bike. You're going to kick up dust. You might even have enough um, prowess and cockiness right. and wherewithal because you've been driving, riding my bike around. You made connections now. Right. Mm. And convince up- <laughs> Connections. Other people that that's your now bike. Now you got a couple of bikes. You got a whole gang. You exactly. got a bike gang. And I'm, I'm over here walking. Walking, right around. So now when I go get my bike back, yeah, you done painted the bike. You done put some new wheels on it. It really don't even look like it my don't bike. Look like I my know bike that's my no bike. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So now I'm waking up, and I'm like, bro, I need my bike back. Right. For real. Right. Uh, how do you know that's your bike? Simply because there's documents here. There's, there's paperwork here. There's, there's receipts here. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> They're showing and proving that that's my bike. Being from this particular country, right. I'm glad that I came back to connect with my uh, brothers and sisters here in America. That was here long before Chris and the boys yeah. got here, and that's long before America Vespucci, and long before all of them people got here. Because we were not, already here, right? Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm glad to come back and, and there's see a difference my difference between pride and glad. That's how I was like the I always it, it, like, it, exactly. You, to, you can be glad to be, but you don't have to have pride in it because exactly pride there's a lot of ego within right it. we're forced to defend this land a land that we can't even grow crops in to feed ourselves mm. all on. right thanks to monsantos and the rest of them but that's another story for, <laughs> the whole, for, that's for, another can is class <laughs> exactly but i'm saying to you no i have tribal pride my father's blackfoot native american okay all right i got greater than the tribe though the greater tribe black people Mm-hmm. I, I have pride, and I'm proud to say I'm connected to all of the carbon, copper, uh, melanated people mm, across the globe. Come on now. And we have something in common. Yeah. And that's, that goes back saying? to what we were talking about to the people who don't have that, who exactly. have a deficiency in that, who want more of the melanin. Exactly. And the way they see about getting the melanin is going through, please don't get offended, sisters, going through the black woman. The only way they can enter into the hereafter is through the black woman, by dropping and planting that seed. You understand what I'm saying? So if you come along and say, sister, you might need to find you a brother that you seriously, that can be your compliment. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And then we get into colorism. Yeah. And these seats. The lighter and the darker. Who has more melanin in that? Who set that in motion with the Willie Lynch letter? Right. See, but every time they see any glimpse of us coming back to ourselves to connect back to the self. And then I even, think I think my wife said it better. Um, shout out to Soleil. Right. She says it's Queen. the journey of the self through the self back to the self. Right. So if you can understand that dynamic, it's like, wow. Okay, I've been put this locked upside the head, put to sleep. I was the god then. Right. I've been put to sleep. Now I'm waking up. I don't even realize I'm a god, but I'm settling on being a nigga. Right. No, see that's the journey of the self. Right. Now I got to get back to the self. So right. guess what happens with these books? Right. I got to introduce Tay Tay and Twan and Peanut and Day Day them back to themselves. Guess who gives me the most opposition? The same people I'm trying to wake up. Exactly. Let me ask you this thing. Mm. Why am I allowed to do it? Because I want to be like Griff. But no, I, I look but, at you. I look at you and say, you see, but we ain't like for me. Right. So, but I'm allowed. I've I'm, I'm made a, a lot of money in this. Mm. I've, I have a large platform as you speak. Mm-hmm. And I want to give brothers like yourself the opportunity right. to do it. And that's when they they always say, oh, we got to protect Nick Cannon. Oh, we, uh, uh, it's 